Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for attending the webinar put on by Business and Decision. Today we're going to be covering N4ION System Integration Simplified. This will be an overview of really how social business uh, can be enabled by ION looking at uh, new technologies that N4 has developed. My name is Brandon Beers. I'm with Business and Decision. I'll be hosting today. Peter Jackson will be the one that will be doing the majority of the presenting. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping notes before we get started. Um, we will have a Q&A session at the end to where you can ask questions, so you can submit your questions through the Ask Questions button. Um, also, the slides are available through the Attachments button as well. And if you attend the webinar, if you're attending the webinar, you will receive a link that will take you out to uh, the slides to where you can also get a copy of the slides as well. There's also uh, an area that you can rate the webcast. So remember, if you like it, it's uh, Brandon and Peter. And if not, uh, it's Bob and Bill. So anyways, getting on to the presentation, what we're going to be covering. Um, this is part of an N4 technology series that we will be hosting here at B&D. Uh, just real quick, if you don't know who B&D is, uh, we are uh, the largest Alliance N4 partner in North America. Uh, we have a, a pretty fairly sizable bond practice. Peter is over the consulting uh, re arm of our bond practice. Um, we have, I don't know, probably somewhere around 100 people that touch our bond practice. And we do pretty well anything bond 4, bond 5, LN. Um, we've done probably three or 400 bond 4, bond 5 installations and migrations. We've also done about 50 LN uh, migrations and installation in North America alone. And with everything going on with the new technology developments within N4, uh, we also have our staff that are trained um, on the different various technologies that N4 is coming out with. So as you can see, uh, we're going to run a series of technology webinars. N4 ION is the one that we'll be talking about today. Also, webinars on Mingle, uh, and then looking at development tools with Mongoose, uh, BI with vaulting, et cetera, on down, on, on down the road there. So without uh, delaying any further, let me turn this over to Peter so Peter can get into the presentation. So Peter, turn it over to you. Thank you, Brandon. And hello, everyone. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join this afternoon's presentation. Um, on N4ION System Integration Simplified. When surveyed by the IDC Manufacturing Insight and uh, speaking with companies, talking about, you know, changing the way that they could do work, focusing on uh, four specific uh, business measures, uh, social business, analytics, cloud, and enabling mobility through the, the enterprise for four uh, business uh, indicators that companies were looking for to, you know, changing the way that they do business. During that survey, as you can see, about 55% of the customers came back and looking at specifically around analytics, they felt partly would be able to change the way that um, they, they work. But what stood out significantly was more of the social aspect of, or the social business, where 34% of the customer survey came back and said, they view this as will completely change the way that they do uh, business. So taking that, the type of the industries out there and people in the industry think 90% um, will be changing the way that they're doing, leveraging technology, as I finally call, uh, finally call technology in action. Infor has started to build, to start building significant investments within these industries, building a, a social business architecture, making it more specific focus by industry, and focusing as beauty as a, a competency. So when you look at those, those three major investments within Infor, what if you can do is change the way you work by being more social, enabling mobile applications, being proactive, well-informed, allowing the collaboration within your, your organization, and developing that in control uh, business intelligence for you to do your work, and then be connected within one uh, solution, all together enabled by uh, one technology. Well, that all can be achieved and be powered by ION. ION allows you the ability to connect multiple applications together, allow you to have enable business intelligence, 
uh, connecting uh, mobile applications and presenting it in a in a, a dashboard, sales dashboard way. So when we look at it being presented in a dashboard way, BD as a competence allows you to change the way that you work to get things done, enable you to basically rewire the way that people create and consume and share that information by having a dashboard to present the information to them. And on the consumer grade user experience, meaning that user experience goes over multiple applications. So you're not, it doesn't look like you're, you know, in different applications to get the work completed. Also have the information more event driven along with the in context business intelligence to help you uh, make better business decisions and determine an approach if there's a, a action that needs to take place. But also make it more social within your organization. So like most organizations today, as time, they have evolved over periods of time where they have silos of applications, um, you know, people, places, et cetera. And they're always looking to ways to, you know, leverage, you know, better efficiencies, uh, minimize costs, um, but also, you know, leveraging and taking advantage of missed opportunities within an organization. So when you look at today, as I mentioned before, most organizations have evolved over time. But still, those silos of information still exist today. So when you look at we may have these disparaging systems where you have applications, you have people, you may have to communicate with specific machines within your organization and that data. These pillars or these silos still exist today. So how I kind of look at it as is when you go through, you're kind of all tabbing. So today, like the application, you get uh, a message within, let's say an order is late. Then you got to alt tab and you know open up your email browser and send someone an email and, and put the information in the email related to the issue. You may have to then alt tab and go to another application that maybe communicates to a machine or a per another person or another application. And then you got to alt tab and then collect the data that you need to uh, to react to based on you know the information that is in hand or the issue that is taking place. Again, we have all these, you know, systems that have evolved, but still there's silos there. And having this not in a, uh, let's say, a consultative user experience, it makes it difficult. Well, what is nice to know is N4, ION, and leveraging the system integration and simplifying it allows you to be more social in a business network. By connecting all the pieces within an organization, the people, the applications, the machines, and data within one unified tool enabling that. So this eliminates the operation silos. Dramatically, you can improve your exception management and also can achieve an improvement into your end-to-end -end efficiencies. So I'm going to walk in through a specific scenario where I'll give you an example how uh, leveraging ION and simplifying our process as you go through. So here what you see on your screen is that Norm, which is in the customer service rep, logs into the application to his day-to-day. -day. And what Norm notices here is that he has a critical production shortfall for a Ford or Motor Company for a specific order and project. So through the alarm, as he's been notified and alerted through the application through ION delivering the alert, he decides that he needs to take action. So when he decides to take action, he can click on the box of the alert, and what it tells him is he can drill down to the detailed data that is to be presented to him to find out what is the issue and what action needs to take place. So when he clicks that, it brings him right into the ERP application. And what he notices here is the information is presented to him so that it can dramatically improve his efficiency to deal with the situation at hand. He notices that the projected delivery date has changed from 424 to 428. He realizes what item and part number that is related to that alert that is making the order late. But also he realizes that from the in-context BI information presented to him, is when the order or what the situation is for when the planned inventory for that part um, goes below the line to satisfy his order. So he realizes that 423 
424, the inventory drops down. But then he also realizes that, hey, Ford Motor Company is our top customer. I better get right on this from an escalation uh, point of view. So what Norm decides to, to do at this point is, let me share this information within the organization. So he clicks the button up at the top and says, let's share this information. When he decides to share this, he enables himself to type in a message. In this case, it's uh, alerting a group of people within production. So by saying at production help desk, um, you define working groups within your organization. And within these working groups, they have individuals attached to this. So the people that belong to this production help desk um, will receive this message. So he is sharing what the issue is. Working on a critical order for Ford, just been notified as a drop-off in production, what can be done here? So he types in the message related to that. And what you'll also notice is that little box that's part of the share is all the pertinent information related to the situation at hand, which allows the individuals that receive this message to drill down to the customer order, the sales order, the part, and the plant that it's related to. So at a simple click of the button, by the issue at hand, the alert that came through his dashboard, is able to then share the information in a collaborative way with the production help desk to better resolve the problem. Once he clicks shares and sends that information along, it goes to Raj. Raj is the production manager, and he sees in his alert that uh, the messages that Norm has sent him the message. Working on a critical order for Ford, just notified uh, that there's a production drop-off. What can you do? So Norm, as the production manager, looks and clicks on the message and takes a view of it, realizes that um, there's nothing related to production that is a, a downturn. He may think that it's related to maintenance. So what Raj does in return is he sends a message to the maintenance group. So in this case, it would be at maintenance uh, help desk. He sends that message, and he's saying, uh, uh, maintenance team, I'm guessing there must be some uh, maintenance plan for this part or this plant. Um, is there any way that we can do something with the production because I have an issue? Again, attached with that, is all the information that was initiated by Norm related to the production issue of the sales, excuse me, the late delivery date for the order. In this case, that message then is sent to that group within um, the maintenance department. In this case, it goes to Jeremy Little. Jeremy Little receives the message from Raj. He's able to then look at it, and, and as part of that, it brings in that data that's related to the issue that is at hand. So if he clicks on that data and allows him to drill down to the meat of the problem, in this case is the maintenance planning board. So he clicks that, he drills down, looks at the maintenance planning board, looks at the maintenance that is going to take place. He also looks at his in, his on, in context BI, so related to, okay, what's my production threshold? Can I look at uh, balancing out my maintenance activities and so that I can accommodate um, the issue at hand, so making sure that I get production parts uh, to the Ford Motor Company. So at this point in time, Jeremy determines, well, I'm going to move the, the, the production and I'm going to notify um, everyone that's involved in this process. So Jeremy notifies and sends a message, in this case, back to, to Raj, and Raj then posts back to um, Norm what the resolution was. So in this case, what you'll see is He's been able to move back the maintenance to, so that it can create a production order to meet the demand that Ford Motor Company has taken place. And then Norm simply replies back to that, thank you very much, and, uh, and the customer will let the customer know and uh, provides the response for thank you for, for taking care of that. So what I simply just went through is a, a simple scenario of how ION and the system integration simplified bringing multiple applications into one to help eliminate the operation silos, help improve exception management, and achieve an end-to-end -end efficiency. But keeping it all, and again, in one user interface, in this case would be in for Mingle, but it brings all of these applications, information, people together using one tool in a collaborative way to solve a, a simple issue. And what's nice about this is it's all done and enabled through ION.
Thank you, Peter. Very well done. Um, so that's pretty exciting for those of us who have been around Bond 4, Bond 5 for a while. Uh, different user interfaces, how it all brings it together. So just a couple things, too, as we wrap up here. Uh, we'll get to some questions, uh, but you can submit questions through the Submit Questions button, um, as well as just a reminder that you'll get an emailed link to you with uh, this PowerPoint here. So um, just getting in to see if we have any questions. So here's a question, Peter, uh, that's come up. So it says, uh, the communication, the walls, everything looks good. Can you also use ION to manage the work stream and business process flows that you are communicating about? Oh, that's a good question, Brandon. Yeah, so ION not only helps, you know, manage the, the flow of information within it, but it also can enable to manage the business process flow by, if, you know, establishing those workflow process thresholds um, that need to be established for a particular business process. Uh, ION can also help you establish, you know, who are those people that are required to perform those, those business processes within a particular flow and those triggers that enable that. Also, it enables, you know, when we're looking at the business process to improve it, you can set, you know, time limits or escalation uh, levels within the business process. And then what's also nice to, to, to mention is it's not only just the flow of the, you know, the application and what work needs to be done. It's the associated documentation or the documents that are part of that business process flow. So, yes. Uh, to answer your question, uh, ION can help manage the, the work stream and the business processes as you communicate through the process. Very good. Okay. Um, next question came in. I'm on bond four, or if I'm on bond five, does ION work with bond four or bond five? <laughs> Another good question. We get that all the time, as many of you may know or are, or, you know, uh, on bond four um, and bond five. So if you're those customers, um, the answer is yes. Um, B and D will be as part of the webinar series. We'll be working on uh, one called Ion uh, Factory for Bond. And during this webinar, we'll cover what is available um, as part of Ion with Bond Four and Bond Five. So, one of the webinars that you want to attend to see what is available with Ion is the uh, webinar N4 Ion Building the Bridge to N4 10x Technology. And during that webinar series, we'll discuss what the ION factory for bond is, what are those components of that, and um, you know, how you can leverage ION with your existing uh, bond four or bond five application. So Perfect. please attend that. Please attend that webinar series. I think a lot of people will be interested in that. So, all right, here comes agree. another another really good question here. We have a, a lot of people that customized their bond environment several years ago. Um, so it says, I have a highly customized environment. Can ION manage that and or help me reduce my customizations as I move to LN? Oh, yeah, this is a, is, is a good question. Um, well, to answer your question is yes. Um, ION can help move those those customizations or if you're in a highly customized environment um, and to reduce that time moving to LN. Now, just out of the box, moving from bond four to LN, um, typically customers um, who have customized bond four and bond five find going to LN, um, those customizations are um, eliminated due to just the, the nature of how LN has evolved and the new capabilities, the, the breadth of functionalities, et cetera. However, that being said, um, you can use another technology X component, which is, uh, and I believe, Brandy, you mentioned the Mongoose um, webinar series that we're going to do. Mongoose, you can write these customizations within that application that you have done in Bond 4, LN, Bond 5, whatever, and then you can use Mongoose to help port those into upgrading to uh, LN. So meaning that you can take your customizations, rewrite them, redevelop them, leveraging Mongoose, and we'll talk about that during that webinar series, um, the effort that it takes to do that. And then by taking those customizations, writing them in Mongoose, you're not customized source code anymore. Um, you're just leveraging Mongoose as a, as a development technology 
and it'll allow you to take what you developed there and port that or report that to your airline upgrade. So look for that uh, webinar series that we'll be putting on, and we'll get into more details there. That sounds pretty interesting right there. I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in that. Um, okay, another question came in. So other than reviewing brochures, PowerPoints, et cetera, what is the best way to get started to evaluate if ION could work for my business? <laughs> That's a really great question. Um, so B&D, we have a discovery process in place um, that we've developed that we would like to discuss with you as, on how you can best evaluate using ION to, to help your business. Um, this process focuses on uh, specific uh, areas within the organization where you're looking to, to leverage, um, like improve business processing, uh, exception, you know, messaging, um, how can I improve my user productivity, and efficiencies. Um, so we go through a set of uh, questionnaires that we'll go through as part of our discovery process. We also work, uh, it's good to mention, Brandon, as well, is we also work uh, through this evaluation process with Infor. So we're leveraging a lot of Infor tools and templates as part of this discovery process so that we can better serve um, you know, you the customer and enabling you to evaluate ION. Uh, ION. We're also doing a um, look for a meeting invitation. We are putting on a, um, a, a, a pimp and name escapes me right now offhand, but we are putting a seminar together where a road show. we are going to be a roadshow. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. A roadshow where we will be elaborating more on how customers can leverage ION to help them within their, their business. So look for an invitation for that roadshow. Um, we're excited to doing that jointly with Infor. Uh, as part of that roadshow and during that those, uh, that session, we will, you know, can work jointly on uh, evaluating, you know, how you can leverage on him. But most importantly, I think here is um, contact D&D. As I mentioned before, we have worked jointly with uh, Infor developing a discovery process to help you evaluate moving to ION. Very good. Yeah, so the, the email address below, contact.us at businessdecision.com. And as I mentioned earlier, we are an alliance partner with Infor, uh, working with them on, on several projects, but happy to work together with them as well on uh, these enabling technologies. So um, I don't have any other questions from the field. Peter, is there any other points that you would like to make at the end of this? No, I just want to just add, add in closing is, you know, B&B is becoming uh, heavily involved as you know, being a market leader within for and 10X, ION, and Mingle, and um, hence why we're doing the, the webinar series. We'll start seeing a lot more information, you know, being published jointly um, with Infor, uh, enabling and leveraging Infor 10X technology along with ION and Mingle. We are committed to providing the thought leadership in this industry and, again, working closely with Infor with this. And we are committed to uh, enabling your business to run better, faster, and smarter than it has before. And, again, eliminating those, you know, operation silos that you may have, improve that exception messaging, and achieve that uh, end user uh, efficiencies, uh, again, leveraging the ION and particularly Infor technology. Perfect. We can help them run smarter and they don't have to stay at the Holiday Inn Express, right? So, Exactly. <laughs> so, All right. Well, if no other questions, thanks, everybody, for attending. Peter, thank you for the presentation. We look forward to hearing from everybody. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.